Previously, we discussed how to install Rave OS, along with the token setup so your rig is associated to your account. It's now time to set up a wallet, which will guide you through the process to begin mining. To begin, look to the left side of the screen and click on the wallet icon. Notice there's not much to look at, so let's go ahead and add our first wallet. Here, we'll choose a wallet name. Do you want it to refer to the exchange that the wallet address is associated with? Maybe the coin that you're mining? Perhaps the rig that you are preparing for? What's most important is that the name makes sense to you. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to refer to the name of the software wallet that I'm using, in this case, Zelcor. On the next screen, we'll identify the coin. Notice the field sharing the coin name. It will auto-populate. For me, I am going to include the name of the pool I am going to use. Next, using the pull-down menu, we will select the pool. Rave OS will often have a list of pools all ready to choose from. This is helpful as it expedites the process. Keep in mind, if the pool you are looking for is not listed, it can be added through the Custom Mining tab, which I'll review in a later video. Remember, when using Rave OS, there is no charge when mining to a two miners pool. So let's take advantage of that. Now, click on the box representing the server closest to your geographical location. At this point, you need to have the wallet address for the coin that you are mining. In my case, I'll copy and paste the flux address that I received in Zelcor. Let's pause and review. So far, we have set up the wallet to know which coin we want to mine. This also tells the software which algorithm. We've also chosen the pool that we want to connect to and which wallet address we want our proceeds to be associated with. It's now time to choose the mining software that is to be used. Pull down the Select Miners menu, and one will be presented with a number of compatible programs for that coin. For the most part, it's rational to choose the program that will be used most often, and the most up-to-date version of it. Note that if desired, you can choose more than one miner. Be mindful of the GPUs that will be used, ensuring that the miner is compatible with those cards. Click Save. Notice that you're presented with the new wallet. Now what if you want to have the option to mine to a different pool? While you could edit the wallet, it's more efficient to add another option within the existing wallet. Click on Copy Coin. Here I'm going to edit the coin name to reference the different pool. Find the pool in the drop down menu, and like before, click on the server closest to you. FluxPool uses the password field to identify the amount of earned coin before it's paid out to the wallet address. Choose a number that is best for you. Add your wallet. Review the miners that you want to use and click Save. I'll pause here and acknowledge users can have a variety of reasons in how they choose to set up their wallet structure. In my opinion, it's about setting it up in a method that makes most sense to you. Over the course of time, I myself have changed my approach on multiple occasions. Learning by doing is often the case when it comes to crypto mining. Let's boot a rig up and have it start mining with the wallet we just created. Once the rig is booted, Click on the rig name. There's several tabs to be aware of, but for now we are going to click on the mining tab located on the right side. Users are presented with a new window with three questions to answer. 
Simply, what wallet do you want to use? Zelcor. What coin do we want to mine? Flux. Remember when I added the pool name to the coin? This is why. You can easily identify which coin and pool at the same time. Finally, we want to choose the mining software that we want to use. For Flux, I recommend Mini-Z, followed by G-Miner. I have not had the best performance with LOL Miner. So if you have some recommendations, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Let's not forget, once everything is chosen, you need to click and apply to all. Okay, the wallet was set up and you're off and mining. That will do it for this video. Please take an opportunity to hit the like button. To support the channel, make sure to subscribe, as I do expect to introduce more episodes that speak to Brave OS. As always, be mindful of your uptime. On behalf of Bailey and myself, thanks for watching.